Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, there you are. Oh, I like the long hair as well. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was telling you to click the whole time. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Like... Sorry, dude. Uh, I mean, like, Discord confuses me. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, so... But yeah, leave it on that. When my thing here... Yeah. Um, can you can you still see me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get really situated here. One second. I'm not wearing a shirt because I'm I'm a big kid and I don't have to wear a shirt. <laughs> okay, so whenever you're ready to start, we can start now. All right. So, um, basically, first of all, who are you? I am Alex Radioactive or Ali Shepard. I am trans. Um, most people just call me Alex and he, him, because I'm very masculine in looks. And I'm okay with that. Um, my so, close friends know that I'm she, her, okay. and Ali is my preferred. So are you male to female or female to male? Male to female. Okay, yeah. All right. So uh, how was that transitioning going so far? Uh, I will never transition. Um, there's a lot of reasons why. It's just... I'm comfortable just being myself with my husband. He supports everything I want, am and want to do in life. So yeah, I just, instead of having to do all the surgeries that when people get on the drugs that you need to transition it, it yeah, some the, people it messes the them, their brains up really yeah. bad. Not all. Some people it, it works for the better, but some people it does not it messes them up really bad, so instead of taking that risk, I'm just going to stay like I am. I go by she, her with my friends and people that, you know, stay in my life. Then the rest of them, it's he, him, because that's what they see. And it's yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that are just going to go crazy and you must <laughs> bow to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like about like, or the pronouns and that. Yeah. 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 So I, how long have you been together with your husband? Uh, 10 years now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. My pronouns are puppy right now. because <laughs> I love that. Puppy. Silly puppy. <laughs> so at the last con I went to, they allowed us to put our, type in our pronouns and everybody was doing he, him, <laughs> they, they're there and all that. Stuff, yeah. But I'm just, I put puppy. Yeah. Everybody just, yeah. I was the only person that just did Be a bit different. Yeah. Be a bit different. Puppy. I like that. I want to be a cute puppy. Yeah, puppy yeah, I like that. I like canine um, furries, actually. They are my favourites. Which is actually what I was going to ask you. Um, like, what are your favourite, like, um, furry artists and kind of, like, types? Mm. Ooh, it, it's hard to say because I literally have a video that's releasing today or tomorrow about furry artists, so... Oh yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and say it. Um, it's okay. Uh, my favorite artist ever is my friend Sharky. She does, she does all my art at this point. <laughs> but close second would be Tavi Monk or, um, Marcy. I mean, everybody, everybody in my community either has a Tavi or a Marcy badge. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. That's cool. Who um who did your uh VR persona? Uh, Relay Corgi, he he's in all my YouTube videos uh, lately because <laughs> he's like my yeah. best buddy. A lot of people think he's uh, soon he's going to move in with us soon, and it, it's funny all the conspiracy theories that they have about <laughs> Relay and me. And really, we're just really two good buddies that just like to play online together. Yeah, uh, like he he textured this like we bought the base online, but he textured uh, with the colors and everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they look so adorable, like, just wiggling around. <laughs> Those ears. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I hope we become, like, good online buddies as well. I'm, I'm not with everyone. Yeah. Except for bad people, but I'm not yeah. going to go into labeling what a bad person is. If you, if you um, need to label it, then... That well. was actually <laughs> going to be... That was actually going to be one of my other questions to you as well, like... Because it seems like you've brought on, like a good community behind you? Mm -hmm. Why do you, why do you think that yes. is? Um, 
everybody I surround myself with are really good people. I I have a tendency to if someone's a bad person, um, and again, uh, to gl- clarify that a little bit, basically, and for me to not like you, you have to be a dick, yeah. <laughs> literally, because I like so, everyone. Uh, so, I have no, so what's no a dick? So what's a dick? But there are. So for me, it, it's someone that. Uh, hurts other people whether it be physically emotionally just if you want to go out and attack someone for no reason yeah that that's, that's basically what cool. i classify as that's a dick. not cool um not cool. because like recently i had someone tell me that they private messaged me and they're like i don't like you you're an asshole and i'm like oh i'm sorry how, how are you an asshole though <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. That's the thing about the furry fandom and a lot of people into uh, it's just people in general, really, not just the furry fandom. But people judge others without getting to know them. Yeah, I have just, some people that don't like me. Yeah, because, they just attack them with, with no reason. Yeah, it's like if you don't like me, that's fine. Yeah. Um. And I tell people that you don't have to like me. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Yeah, but I think a lot of them they do it because they themselves are being bullied, or uh, someone doesn't like them yeah, that they like. They d- they don't have okay. they don't have any um, security in themselves, really. Yeah. Uh, some people just, I mean, I I think they're just born to want to hate or whatever for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, it's but, not cool. Uh, it's not cool though. I mean, I, I know, yeah. like, the kind of stuff that you've gone through recently as well. Uh, that's why I gave you yeah. some of your space, you know, because I didn't want to, you know, yeah. pressure you. And I know, like, you, yeah. your mates have gone through some bad stuff recently as well, so... Oh, yeah, the last two months have been really rough. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to pressure you. So, losing our father was bad, but, like... So from the time we found out he had cancer started when he about 90 days before he passed. Uh, so he, we found out he had throat cancer and then it spread to his liver and then it spread everywhere mm. from. So him passing while it, we weren't ready for it and we weren't expecting it, you know, at the beginning of the year. Yeah. We are relieved that he's not suffering with cancer for a very long time. Like a lot of people will fight cancer and yeah some point of sometimes sometimes it's curable but a lot of times it's yeah. not though correct and with him it just wasn't gonna it was not gonna ever get better yeah so we are kind of relieved that it went as quick as it did instead of him suffering for years yeah, and years so, and years yeah of pain. so he didn't suffer because like no he did not suffer um oh, good. he spent like two weeks in the hospital then he came home on hospice and uh he died within three days. Oh, did did he get to um, talk to his family and everything before? Yeah, so we got to see him three days before he passed. We got to see him in the hospital, and he was actually turning around. Like, we thought he was going to get to come home and be good for a couple of days. Yeah. So the last time we saw him, he was coherent. We were able to say our goodbyes and everything. And we actually came home. We were com- planning on coming home, getting some rest, because me and my husband have been on traveling on the road since late June. So for, like... A month and a half, we've been nonstop traveling. We we didn't even see our house hardly, mm. so we were exhausted. We so we were like, okay, we've seen him. He's doing okay. He's gonna come home. It sounds like so we're gonna go home, get some rest, you know, recuperate. He's so he can get some work stuff done and get prepared his work prepared for when we do have to be gone for a while. Well, we were home three days, and I don't even think it was three, full three days. Uh, I think it was two days. And then he passed. And then we, my husband went down the next day. I had to wait an extra couple of days before I went down because of dog sitters and stuff like that. We had to get squared away. Oh. So going it, down there. It's his uh, we were dad. Just relieved. It, it's oh, uh, your father-in-law, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my father-in-law. My actual father um, is still alive and not doing the best. Um oh. Oh, yeah. A few years back, I lost my stepdad. Um, that's been more than a few because it was before me and my husband were together. But anyways, I lost my stepdad, and my actual biological dad is still alive. He's not in the best of health, but he's still here kicking right now. Um, I actually <laughs> got to see him on the way back from Indiana the last time. Okay, cool. That's all right. Um. My uh, my biological dad uh, passed away when my sister did. 
um, about sorry. five I'm years ago. That's all right. Um, it was about five years ago now. But um, I never knew my dad. But I've got a stepdad <laughs> now. Hey, stepdads are just as valid as the real dad. Oh yeah, um, and, he, and he's he's been awesome as well because I actually have met what, him a lot of times. What's crazy is uh, my father-in-law passed away to the day. It was the same day, nine years before that my husband's younger sister was killed in a car crash. So to the day, that was kind of weird. Car um, crash. Car crash. Timing. Yeah. Oof. That. Um, I was just, me and Josh had been around together for just a short time when that happened. Hey, Bubba. My dog wanted pets, so I got to pet the dog. <laughs> And Josh is your husband, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Refer to him as Math and Creed most of the time, but I call him Josh just because I can. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to call him only other things, but yeah. Go lay down. Well, yeah. um, you well, said uh, your real name is Alex, yeah. Yes. Well, um, my name is Jake, by the way. Hi, Jake. Hiya. Jake. Yeah, that's my real name. I'd love to get into this uh, VR chat. <laughs> yes, it, VR chat is really great because, like, with my friend Relay, he lives so far away. The one, t it was like three or four years ago now, we actually had a chance to meet in person. But uh, I went to a con that he normally goes to, but unfortunately that year he couldn't go. <laughs> it was the one year he didn't go because it was his home con, and I was there, and it, it, it kind of stunk. <laughs> because it's too far and too way too expensive to go to MCFC for me. All right. Well, it, I mean, like this VR chat seems like a good place to start, like connecting with oh, yeah. other fairies. Yeah, and you could stuff. Oh yeah, I spend hours just in the evenings when I'm not doing anything. I'll I'll hop in with friends and we can just we watch. There's worlds where you can watch movies or play games. We just chill. Yeah. It's like like you would do if you were there in person, except for yeah. Since you can't be there in person, it's the next best thing. Yeah, I'm just not that good at like VR chat. Like, I'm not that tech savvy to begin with, anyway. But um, VR chat kind of scared me off at one point, so I didn't explore it more, more much. So let me be the first to tell you: don't okay. let VR chat scare you. I am very not computer good, mm. and I can do it. Anybody can do it, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, it is very easy once you figure it out. It's kind of like when we were getting this video started, finding out what to click on. It was trial and error for a few minutes. Yeah, but just, once you get it, you you click on this, click on that, and you're boom. You're here. You got it. Yeah, you got to get over those hurdles. And I know I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, you'll really like it. Um, and you don't have to have a VR headset to play. If you got a decent no. computer, no. I, I, I know uh, that this, actually, you can but play um, it. yeah, I just didn't, uh, I didn't get into it before. Oh, good. Nothing wrong with that. I, I will now though. Seeing what you've built on your channel and everything, like you doing yes. um, everything. Yeah, well, anybody can do what I do. Like, yeah, but I actually, people, I actually yeah. um, first uh, got introduced to you from your uh, Tiny Tales review. Oh, that video. That was an old video. Yeah, I know. But that's video. how I got introduced to you, though. <laughs> yeah. That video was made possible thanks to the ABU team and um, uh, my good friend Ido and Elos. They, Ido and them really made my MFF last year um, very, very good, <laughs> I'm going to say. Mm. Uh, because it was a very, very bad con last year for me. So, yeah. It it started out great, but it ended on a very, very bad note. Um, but I'll be back again this year. I run the Baby Fur panel there. Um, oh, so yeah. they reached out and wanted to release the Tiny Tales at that Oh, panel. that that, that was, was another awesome. question. Another question I had. Yep. Diaper fur or Baby oh, Fur? Am I a diaper fur or Baby Fur? Yeah, which one? Well, I'm or neither. both. I'm neither. Neither. I'm puppy. <laughs> okay. Just just puppy. So, so I okay. So a lot of people ask me if I'm ABDL or diaper fur. I actually wear diapers for medical reasons. 
I mean, yeah. 24-7 for medical need. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. really say I'm baby fur or diaper fur. Like, I come off as more baby fur, I guess, or AB. Adult you're, more like, you're more like a furry who just needs them for medical reasons, then. 